they are going to be poor no they are not going to be poor what's going to happen they are going to be out of the system not the in, out of the limelight system not out of the system the limelight system is where we see them but in the system they are going to still be there the president is the one to be blamed you cannot blame his juniors because the juniors cannot squander people's money without president knowing that he knows politics is about selling your propagandas selling your fake stories you understand but you guys you buy in fake stories you think it's true it is politics that's how politics works i'm very still skeptical with what is going on and you guys i want you to listen to me very attentively so that you can understand what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to talk about i said that i'm very skeptical with our president william ruto uh, because of the several reasons I'm going to say and you're going to use your intellect to filter whatever I'm trying to say You see the president these things happened actually before that I just woke up early in the morning and found out that most people are praising President William Lotto for what he has done. He has retrenched all the CS He has fired them and this has made most of the Kenyans forget what has what happened in the few weeks ago. Most of them are pouring praises to him because they believe he's a good president. Right now they are praising him. And last week they were just saying bad things about the president. They are praising him because he has fired uh, the seers. This is very sensitive, you guys. You need to, to, to add up so that you, you get what I'm trying to say. You see, uh, like two weeks ago, maybe one week, if I'm not wrong, uh, something bad happened to our country. Uh, the, 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 the GNZ invaded the parliament and that brought a bad picture uh, to the world because Kenya is uh, one of the respected countries in Africa, but that thing happened and most of the people praised the GNZ, said the GNZ is the voice of the people. Uh, that uh, brought so many talks why these uh, GNZs are doing this and some people uh, in Africa, especially the young men in Africa, they said the GNZ are, have come to rescue uh, the millennials and the baby boomers. This is what the people were talking about. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about why I'm not trusting this president of ours. The President Ruto has decided to fire the CS, is doing the reshuffling, has dismissed some of them, some of them has saved them for the future use. What I'm, I'm trying to ask myself, why is he very fast? And why is he taking every word, I mean, is taking every suggestion into action? Because the person in authority like him is not the right way to go. You cannot do that and say that this is what you're, you're doing because in your position you don't have to follow or to praise everyone who gives you an advice as a person on your position you see on last week the president himself was on tweet space x the twitter uh, the, the previous twitter the president was one-on-one -on -one with the gnz's trying to talk or to have a conversation on how they are going to make sure this country of ours is uh, is going to be the country the way the GNZs want, because they say the GNZs are stakeholders of Kenyan nation of a Kenyan nation. Now the president was one on one uh, talking to these guys, and some of them were throwing bad words to him as a person, all as a mighty, all as a person in the authority. He was there, and he was just laughing when these guys were abusing him they were throwing bad words to him but the person was laughing and what does this insinuate you guys you got to use your intellect very well as in his position you abuse him and he laughs does he go silent and you guys think this thing is going to go on trust me the president himself is playing with your minds because the president is the commander-in-chief of all forces you guys you need to understand that the other guy said 
abused him. What bad was that? I cannot put him say here so that you guys you can say you're going to say why are you saying bad those words you see we respect ourselves but the president these guys were throwing bars to him and the president was just devouring those words and nothing happens because just laugh, laughing with them not laughing at them laughing with them as if good things has happened so this is a bad signal to him because to him as then to us you understand Abusing the president who does not react and when the things are bad, that's a bad signal because he needs to react so that you guys can see we are not going to relent on that. So there's a bad signal because what do you know? What if this guy is planning so bad things? And what if guy you guys are going to be taken and being killed one on one? You understand? Because they're going to trace you. You abuse the president. And then the president does not react to you, then he's going to come one on one during the night. You're snatched, you're killed, maybe you, you disappear to be seen again. You guys, you just play with words, you understand? You call yourself free, freedom fighters, you abuse the president, the president is laughing. Trust me, the president is not a fool. I'm telling you, President William Ruto is one of the smartest presidents in Africa, and it's very, very sharp, it's very cunning. But when you do that, you act like there's nothing has happened, this person is going to kill in your view. And I'm telling you, I'm not a prophet, but I'm telling you, you guys who are seen there, I don't know, in five years to come, you're going to see you guys. Don't just be praised by your fellows, your, your friends that you abuse this guy. This guy is, is going to kill you guys. I'm telling you, going to disappear one by one. Today is you, tomorrow is another one because we don't trust him and then again the what happened this president again the second reason why i'm saying i'm not trusting him is because this president has fired all the seers has left to musadi mudavadi why because the musadi mudavadi has a bargaining power political bargaining power has he has you understand so uh, the reason being that if he has to if he had to to fire mudavadi then we could have a political conflict between the party. And that one, I think, makes sense to you. There's no need of saying that he'd be fired. Now, you guys, you told Mr. President to fire all the seers, and, you, and the president did what you say. Do you think that's easy? Maybe you thought the president has fired this president's seers before consulting them. No, it was not by an accident. The president called them and talked to them and discussed with them the way forward because the president is just a member or a stakeholder of the party you understand so he talked to these guys he talked to them and they discussed on how they're going to solve this SES. now my point is this do you trust the president whatever you tell the president is going to do now this is a political game because in the morning, I met some guys. These guys were praising the president, saying, we have the best president, the president ever. Actually, I'm going to vote him. You understand? It was last week. You guys were just destroying other people's properties and saying the president is bad. We are going to throw you. You're going to say, Ruto must go. Right now, you're praising Ruto. You, what is wrong with you guys? And then you say the president is going to, to solve all this, solve all this parliament, to solve all these seers, and you think he's going to do? Yes, he has solved them. Do you think that's the right decision for you? This decision he has made, it's a political game. I want to make sure you understand this. This is a game being played by politicians. You remember, he's a political genius. He's been here for 35 years. In, and I'm telling you, he's a political genius. He, has, he knows how to play this game. And you guys tell me, I want to bet you, I want to tell you this, guys. You, you destroyed other people's property. But coming 2027, you are the person who is going to vote him in because he knows how to, going to, to manipulate you. You're saying, ah, you, this guy, we don't trust him. What are you going to do? At the end of the day, you're going to trust him. Hmm? But to most of us, we are neutral. We don't, we don't side any party or any movement. We know what's going to happen. We know these politicians are bad people to you. They don't even care about you. 
but you thought you think these people they care about you nobody cares about you it's about you and your life not even the position leader is going to be there for you it's about you and your life that's all no politician that cares about you trust me and this guy here is going to dissolve i mean i'm telling you this all this polit all this years you saw there some of them are going to deploy it in other parts in other in other sections like some of them are going to deploy them um, to be ambassadors some of them are going to be seers they are going to be returned because if you have the political uh, bargaining power you're going to be returned that's what i'm telling you but let me tell you i don't trust him because this guy is going to manipulate you guys because the masses the majority they don't know what's going on in kenya they don't even understand they must see the majority are easily to be manipulated but the few who understand how this game works they are not supporting what the president did last yesterday he dissolved the, the police he dissolved this the seers i mean he fired all the seers and you guys coming out praising him thinking that he's a fool he's very smart and it's not going to be the way you think he has plans tell me how can you just you've been in the president for two years like three years let me say so but you have done nothing. Now, in two weeks, can you make create some, make something that in three years you did not do? It does not make sense. Can you use, use your intellect very well and understand this? The president knows how to manipulate people. You understand the, the most of the, the reason why the president was voting in is because people people did not read the manifesto very well they just wanted another president that's all and then coming next year that's the same thing we're going to happen because we don't have another powerful opposition leader okay we have Rahira but Rahira on the other side is become because the Rahira Ruto knows how to play games with the Rahira he knows him he knows his weakness he knows very well so this is what is going to happen you guys Ruto is going to be voted in in 2027 by the bigger number because you guys you can be easily manipulated by him he knows how to play games with you but most of you guys don't understand you don't even don't understand what's going on this is the politics this politics is propaganda you think politics is not something good no politics is about selling your propagandas selling your fake stories you understand but you guys you buy in fake stories you think it's true it is politics that's how politics works you need to understand because if you don't understand this politics then you are one of the fullest people we have on earth and i'm telling you we don't trust him because this is what he's going to do he's going to, to call us he's going to put even two 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 gnc's i mean the young people to be in this among the seers now maybe he has elected he has just appointed two people two young that below 35 to be in the in the in, in in his cabinet what are you going to get now he has two boys i mean he has two two gnc's in, in the in the cabinet what are you going going to gain do you think someone who's going to be put there is someone just easily just lightly it's not someone light it's someone i'm telling you it's not someone who is going to come to the, the, the cs i mean someone's going to be put there to be appointed there by the president so someone light is someone who is going to be strong someone heavy i'm telling you you guys need to filter what you are i mean if if i were president voter i could not be talking aimlessly out there anyhow do you understand i could bear still be still I mean I could be still thinking trying to let people understand this is what we're going to do but now he's doing implementing everything very fast where was he not implementing all these stuffs all these things hmm? the two years or like say three years where was he but he want to do all these things in two years I mean one week why do you trust him I can't trust him because he's not someone to be trusted because he's too good to be true he promises he promises so many good things to us but those things don't come true you understand so this is what we need to do you understand since kenyans are very that way that's why they have the president who resembles them i'm saying this because it's in a psychological way i mean likes attracts likes 
Kenyans, Kenyans, they are like their president. There's no way you can have a good president if you are not like the president. Kenyan president and the Kenyan people, they are the same. Why I'm saying this? Because the energy that is moving around is what attracts. Because you don't get what you want, you get what you deserve. Because the energy that's around, the energy that's moving around is that way. Unless Kenyans change, I mean Kenyans to change the energy that is moving around, the energy around them, because the Kenyan energy is about brave, courage, I mean the, the, the audacity to do things, that's what they attracted their president. The president is just that way. Because the generations, in different generations, that's how, because you can't tell the president Kibaki is the same as President Ruto. No, it's not the same. Because President Ruto is a mod, is, is doing what is happening right now. He's a digital president. Do you what, what happened last week? President, president Ruto was on SpaceX, I mean, was on Twitter. What if it was Kibaki's time? Could Kibaki be on Twitter discussing the GNZs? No, it couldn't happen. What about what about uh, Moi? Still no. That was it that time. But the time now has changed. You understand? So what people, the new people are moving with the new generation is moving and the new president is moving with the same generation. I mean the same energy that is applied is the same energy that we have. So unless the another time comes, that's when we are going to have a different president with a different thoughts, with a different ideas. And that's going to be a digital president because this is a modern way, modern time. This is a digital time. The president himself is digital. You understand? So for me, I cannot trust because most of the Kenyans are still sleeping. They just take, I mean, they consume what they don't know. They consume fake information about the president. They consume fake information about the government, about the politi politics. You understand? Now the president knows how to play with us. He's a good guy when it comes to playing with Kenyans people's mind. You understand? Because he was voted, because we, most people sympathized with him, that's why they voted him in. You understand? So that's how it is. You need to understand how this world works, guys. You need to know. That's why I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. Because this is a new world. You guys don't need to trust him. Because the moment you trust him, you're done with. Because the president knows what he's going to do to make things work. Now you think now, no, you're still you're praising him because he has changed everyone. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening, you guys. Last year, last week, you were just throwing bad swords to him. Right now you're praising him because he has fired all the LCS. Now let me ask you the last question. Between the CS and the president, who is to be blamed? The president is the head of the nation. The president Ruto is the head of Kenya. I mean, he's the head, the commander in chief. Why do you have to blame the CS who follows, who is given the instructions? This, the CS cannot be bad because he follows the instruction. He follows the trend. He doesn't understand. Now you guys, you think the president, the CS can eat people's money without the president consent. The president knows everything what is going on. And the president knows himself very well. Alin San, Alan Nafsin Basira, the president knows his weakness, he knows his strength, he knows everything. But it's because it's not competitive enough, that's why you see all this bullshit happening. It's not because the CS are bad, it's not because the bad, no, it's because it's not competitive enough. Maybe it's just, it was sleeping. Maybe he thought it was easy running Kenya. Kenya is not an easy country. Kenya cannot run easy Kenya like you're running your house. <laughs> Trust me. So that was happened. You guys, the president is the one to be blamed.
you cannot blame his juniors because the juniors cannot squander people's money without president knowing that he knows now if he knows why don't you fire them on spot the moment you get them squandering other people's people's money you just fire him when the people are telling you you know what your weakness now the people are telling you that you fire him you fire no he's playing with your mind you guys he's playing with your mind i'm telling you so what you need guys to do you need to be smart you don't have to consume the wrong information you need to get the information by your hands first hand you understand if you get that information first hand you're not going to be lured easily because most people they just look they just consume propagandas they don't know what is going on you just whatever i tell you that's what you take it the way it is the second hand information that's what you get now guys that's how it is so for me that's what i'm going to say let's as kenyans be smart because all over the world people in other nations they know kenyans are very smart but unfortunately enough these kenyans they are going to vote in mr president ruto 2027 because he said the gnc gnc's who are protesters let us meet in 2027 you understand why did he say that because you know you guys are going to, are easily to be manipulated you are very easy i'm telling you you sympathize you sympathize with him and you guys in the guys messing you up i'm not saying this because i hate him no president is not bad but i think the president is just finding where to to place his lord I mean, he's going to blame to poise his plans too but now let me finish this you guys need to understand kenya how the kenyan people operates i'm a kenyan i understand the kenyans you understand i'm a neutral guy i'm not a politician i'm not an activist i'm not i have a, i'm just an open-minded bus person that's the period that's the period so guys let us not be manipulated easily because we fear we, we just sympathize we are very happy when we see someone has gone down that's not good that's no right. I don't think that one can make. When someone has gone down, maybe someone is fired, and now you feel happy because he's going to be poor. Like you know, these guys are very rich. You understand? Last time, because he, before he was employed, they 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 they, they shared with us with their wealth. Some of them owns billions. <laughs> Do you think they are going to be poor? No, they are not going to be poor. What's going to happen? They are going to be out of the system. Not. The, in, out of the limelight system, not out of the system. The limelight system is where we see them, but in the system they are going to still be there. So that's how it is. So guys, thank you for watching this. Uh, my name is Samox. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Appreciate one love.